Sydney, welcome back to Shot Talk. So I'm looking at this picture. A lot of people don't understand the significance of Harry Nilsson because he didn't do a lot of live stuff, but he was everybody's go-to for songwriting. Sure. What are you doing with him and Greg? Once again, when I was living in Macon, Georgia, working with Capricorn Records, uh, Phil Walden, the uh, president of Capricorn, called me into his office one day and said, I'd like you to shoot some pictures. I've got Harry Nilsson coming to see Greg, and they're going to just chat on the couch for a little bit. So... Uh, take some pictures and that's what I did. So what, what was he in town for? I honestly don't know. Because uh, he, he wasn't on that label. No, he was passing through I guess but I mean that happened a lot actually where musicians would pass through Macon, Georgia uh, and and meet up with the band members. I mean you got to remember Macon, Georgia at the time Allman Brothers Band, Marshall Tucker Band, Wet Willie, uh, it's where Charlie Daniels, uh, it's where Little Richard came from, Macon, Georgia. I mean, it, Macon was a big music town, uh, Otis Redding, uh, and, and a lot of the musicians from around the country would pass on through there. I mean, Phil Walden created a little music capital there. And you were the guy. That's, I was the guy. That's cool.